Hi all, in today's tutorial I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get the best sound out of your computer. And uh, it always starts off, uh, the first step is to make sure you have a good sound system. Once you uh, take a look and get a good sound system hooked up, the next step would be to make some adjustments like these in your equalizer in order to get the best sound available. So let's start off by talking about speakers and a sound system. Well, as you know, everybody has an opinion on what sounds good on their particular systems. I'm only going to tell you about what my recommendations are from my experience, and I've tried out quite a lot of the mid-range speakers, not the very expensive and not the very cheap, but somewhere in the middle, and I really think it's worth the investment because the speakers stay with you even when you upgrade your computers. You still can keep your speaker system, um, and I've had mine for 10 years, and the ones that I've bought uh, were the Harman Kardon sound sticks. These are actually the newest version that came out, which is the Harman Kardon sound sticks. I believe these are number three, and they're just awesome. Um, I'm a customer. I'm a dedicated uh, sound stick customer. I don't think I'll ever go with another speaker system because I think the sound is just so crisp and soft and bass. It's got great subwoofer uh, in there that just gives you awesome sound. So if you're looking for something for the holidays, either for yourself or for someone else, um, and you want to give a really cool gift, this is an amazing gift. It looks cool also on your desk. I mean, look at them. It's like a work of art. And uh, anybody who's a Mac person loves design, loves, uh, you know, quality, and I would recommend these. Like I said, I've had them for 10 years, and they've served me well. Um, let's take a look at how much they cost. So around the Harman Kardon um, speakers are about 169 if you buy them on Amazon, 229 for the Bluetooth-enabled ones. But you can also find the used ones for $99. And um, if you take a look at my video on how to set the uh, volume on it and really make perfect adjustments on them, uh, you might be able to get away with getting a used pair that will just work beautifully and still look incredible on your desk. So that's my recommendations as far as a sound system. You can also, another recommendation, hook up an old speaker system. If you've got one of those sitting in your basement and you're not using it anymore because you don't use records or tapes, well, the speakers that you had in those old speaker systems hooked up to your Mac will work great. And the way you can hook them up is if they have a headphone jack or an auxiliary uh, place to plug it in, you can actually plug them in to your Mac and use them as speakers. I actually did that for uh, my media center where I took an old um, Sony, you know, uh, with a remote control and everything, uh, tape cassette, um, plugged it in and put into the headphone jack, uh, what do you call it, my um, computer, and then hooked up the rest uh, to the television. And through HDMI from your Apple um, iMac, you can actually go to the television through HDMI, and then the television could be hooked up uh, through the headphone jack. And boom, you've got a sound system that's really awesome. So that's another way of doing it if you want to do it in an inexpensive way or if you have something laying around the house that you just want to get the most out of because those old speakers in those uh, wooden cases just have awesome sound as well. All right. So the next step after you purchase a good sound system, whichever way you want to go, is you. it's a really good idea, especially most of your music comes out of iTunes, you really want to get the right equalizer. So in this case, as you can see, um, there is a very specific equalizing tone here that um, I set up manually. But also, Mac comes with their own. This one is said to be the perfect, uh, you know, equalizer settings, but you'd have to make them yourself, and I'll show you how to do that today. But the first thing you have to know is if you go into iTunes and you go into the Windows pull-down, you'll see there is this item called equalizer. So if you select that, you're going to get the equalizer come up. Now, normally it's off. So you would turn it on, and then you would have a pull down of all of these interesting uh, different equalizing tones. And they do make a difference. If you play a song and you switch around these while the song is playing and you give it a second in between, you're going to hear the difference and you're going to find the perfect equalizing tone for you. Um, but if you don't like any of these or you want to try out the one that they call the perfect uh, tone, here's how you do it. So I'm going to put this graphic uh, right here, and I'm going to make this equalizing tone with you right now. So I'm not really choosing anything. Um, as you can see, I can make a preset. I can edit one, or I can do one manually. 
but as soon as I move it, the word manual is going to come up. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this here, and I'm just following what I have right here. I'm going to move this uh, to about the third one. I'm going to move this up to the second. I'm going to move this one here. And we're going to move this one up. That one stays down. That one goes up one. This goes up here. And this one goes all the way up. I think actually this one can come down a little bit. And right there. And that's it. Once I do that, I don't want to do this every time, so I'm going to do make preset. And I'm going to call this preset Shiny Jaff. Hit OK. And now that piece preset will always be there. Now if you really want to get fancy, different presets work for different songs. If you go Command I on a song in your iTunes, there is actually a preference that says if you want to choose which equalizing setting per song. But that's for you real music aficionados. If you have different songs, all your rock songs you want to have with one equalizing tone, and uh, let's say your classical music uh, with a different one, you can actually pick a group of songs, go Command-I, select uh, the equalizer settings, and actually assign an equalizing setting to those songs. But for now, you could try these out. Uh, like I said, music is a very personal thing. So what works for me may not work for you. The sound system that I like, you may not like as much, but it doesn't really matter. As long as it sounds good to you and you adjust some of your equalizer settings, you're going to get a lot more out of your musical experience on your Mac than you ever have before. So good luck trying out some of these tips. And if you want the Harman Kardon sound sticks, feel free to get them on Amazon. I think Best Buy has them. So you can get them anywhere you want. But if you do have those computer speakers sitting in the basement that are not being used, and actually they were stereo speakers, and you have a little unit that actually uh, played through them, you can hook them up through uh, the headphone jack to your television. And there's adapters if you need for that, but I was able to just plug it into the same jack. So uh, those wires are also available on Amazon. So good luck at trying out some of these tips, and hope you enjoy a musical holiday.